The last enabler is the AI infrastructure. At the end, if you want to develop a project, you have to run uh, your project during the development phase in a machine, but in production you also have an AI infrastructure to run your project to capture the value. As I said, most of the tools in AI are open source. And, for example, you can run all the tools that I show in your laptop. This is where uh, usually I start, in my laptop. I use my laptop, I install all the softwares using, for example, Anaconda, uh, install the Python, the, the TensorFlow, Scikit-Learn, all the, the, the Python libraries, NumPy, Pandas, everything in my machine. And then I, I run all this environment using Jupyter Notebooks. Jupyter Notebooks are very good, as I said, to start an AI project. Yes, as you can see here, in a notebook you have what? You have code, Python code, you can see here. You can import some of the library that I told you, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib. You can put some additional code to read, for example, a data set. And then you can see in the table below is the output of the comment uh, to display the table, yes, using pandas in this case. And it's so great, it's so easy to do a project using Jupyter Notebook after you have installed the Anaconda environment, for example, and you can manage everything during the development phase in, in your laptop. But sometimes you need more capacity, you need to use not only CPUs, but maybe you need to use GPUs, which is another kind of processor, and it's very good for deep learning projects, yes? And in, in this time, you can use, for example, Google Colab, yes, which is in the cloud. You can also use notebooks there, your, your same code that you run uh, in your laptop, you can move to Google Colab and run in Google Colab. But in Google Colab, for example, maybe you can use uh, GPUs to have a faster training uh, phase in your project. Yes, and you can use it for free. Uh, the idea to Google Colab is really to stimulate people to prepare projects and to start to run projects and in the development phase or testing phase or just for curiosity. But probably when you decided to move your project to production, uh, in this kind, your laptop probably will not enough. Uh, environments like Google Colab for free are not enough. Then you probably need a more powerful cloud platform. Yes, and here are some examples of the most important cloud platforms. First of all, Amazon Web Services, AWS. Yes, you have a full environment. You can instantiate a machine. You can use, for example, Amazon SageMaker to, to run all the, the AI project. Yes, uh, during the development phase, training phase. But after that, you can uh, deploy your, your model in production and use the Amazon Web Services Cloud to, to run your project in production. Another example is Google Cloud. Google Cloud Platform, you can also instantiate a deep learning uh, virtual machine to, to test, to run and put in production your, your product. And what is the advantage to using cloud? You don't need to make an investment before you, you, you start to, to put your, your project in, in production. You, you just will pay per use and maybe you can increase your infrastructure if your project are really getting the value. IBM Cloud has also a very good platform what, with Watson Studio and all the Watson services. Yes, uh, APIs that are ready to start projects uh, with artificial intelligence. But Watson Studio is a very powerful. You can also run all a project, prepare a project, build, train and uh, move your, your project at the end to production. And sometimes what is interesting to use cloud infrastructure in this case, because new features that I'm coming in this case here, Auto AI, uh, companies usually offer you to experiment, to test it, even when they are very early in the general availability. 
IBM Cloud is another option. And one final option here, Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Studio. Yes, another powerful environment. You can use customized services to, to create your AI solution or you can build your own model since the beginning and pay just for use, pay just for the infrastructure that you are allocating you during the training phase or during the production. As you see, the AI infrastructure is so important to manage your project, to run your project. Yes, you can start in your laptop, you can start using free infrastructure, but probably at the end, when your project is moving to production, you need a really cloud platform to run your project and to get the value. Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Platform, IBM Cloud and Microsoft Azure are very good options to manage the infrastructure needed to run your AI solution.